Hey guys, this is Amjivid with another tutorial about applying depreciation to a fixed asset in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, different types of fixed assets that you buy to generate income have different lifespan, which must be taken into account to calculate the depreciation value, and different methods are used to calculate the value, like straight line method, diminishing balance method, double declining balance method, etc. And if you don't know how to calculate the depreciation value, you need to contact to your tax preparer and or CPA who will help you with that. Anyhow, let's suppose after calculating the depreciation value by using the concerned method, Your CPA has provided you with the monthly values so that you can record them into your books accordingly. And you can record the depreciation value either by going to the concerned assets accumulated depreciation ledger or by recording a general journal entry. Now go to the chart of accounts and double click on the concerned assets accumulated depreciation account. And if you don't know how to set up fixed assets accounts, please watch my tutorial named purchase and record fixed assets. I will provide the link in the description and in the video cards too. Anyhow, when you will click on the accumulated depreciation account, it will open its ledger. And remember, it's a non-cash transaction. That's why you don't need to fill the payee column. And also, you need to make sure that you have a depreciation expense account in your chart of accounts. And if you don't find one, just go to your chart of accounts and select new under account and create an expense account named depreciation. And since it's a deduction in the value of the asset, just write the depreciation value in the decrease column and click on record and then close the window. It will record the transaction and reduce the book value of the asset by the depreciated value which is 55 a month and will not change the actual purchase price of the asset. Now let's use the second way of adding depreciation value by recording the general journal entry. To record the general journal entry, select make general journal entry option under the company menu. Here change the date accordingly and select depreciation expense account and write the depreciation value which is 55 a month on the debit side. Since it's a business expense, then select the concerned fixed assets accumulated depreciation account and write the depreciation amount on the credit side. In my case, it's HPZ Book Laptop's accumulated depreciation account. And then write the memo if you want. And since this is a recurring transaction, we can click on Memorize to let the QuickBooks know to record this transaction automatically at the end of every month by filling these fields. And then click on Save and Close to record the journal entry. And here you can see that the value of the accumulated depreciation account has increased and the book value of the asset has gone down by the same value. Now let's open the balance sheet to see how it appears on the balance sheet. And here you can see that it's showing the total depreciated value, the cost price and the current book value of the asset which is a laptop in my case. Anyhow, whatever method you feel comfortable to record depreciation, just use that. And if you still feel uncomfortable, I would highly recommend you to leave this for your accountant or CPA who will take care of it for you. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.